Hey, this is Anthony Hannigan. Welcome back to Music Moose. A little bit of salt creek going on there. The creek is so salty. We are working on slides and stuff, and we've covered this in some earlier lessons. We are going to come back, revisit it like we just did in the last lesson, and we're going to do the sliding up the scale or down the neck, and we're going to slide down the scale as well. So what goes the same way as we were doing our notes is find some notes that we're going to work with. So we'll use the A string. We do that right there was a slide. Let's do it again. Let's do it on all the strings. Let's start with the E. It's going to be the second fret, open I mean, second, fourth, fifth, slide. Do it on the E. On the D. Right there was a slide going back, or a slide actually up. Just do it on the G. slide up in one finger increments, two finger increments, however you feel comfortable doing it. But a great little one to start the exercise is just from the second to the fourth fret on each string. I'm on the A string now. D string. G string. So let's walk it up and do a slide from an A scale where we're going to come down here. Let's do that again. Or we can walk it up even more so. And all I'm really doing is identifying, I know the fretboard well enough that I know where the notes are for that particular chord. Now you could possibly land somewhere else too, which is not a bad thing. And so a lot of times with these scales, you can, you can do a walk. Right there was a slide back down the other way. All kinds of things. It's actually having the strength in your finger to hit that particular note and go the direction that you wish to go. And these are all things I cannot, I don't think, teach um, the imaginary bands inside your head. Everybody's going to have their own. And um, in mine, it's like a constant horn section of whether it be Charlie Parker or John Coltrane. That's what I hear every time I pick up the instrument. Sometimes I hear Bill Monroe singing some high and lonesome tunes. But it's actually challenging myself. A lot of times I'll sit here and I'll just do the slider, slider. Rather than pick every single note, I can just slide up there. That's kind of what we want to do with the slide. It's going to be, it may not have been explained that well, but basically a slide is a slide. It's an action that your finger is doing on the fretboard. So it's as simple as doing it that way. When you get somewhere, rather than stop the picking motions, can, you can stop the picking but slide the note. And there was a time that I got stuck, but I continued going, and that is key. So that's the slide. We're going to touch base. I would like to get some feedback on this because 
slide is very general and that's where I'm going to stick with it right now. But how we can use slides and songs is something that we're going to get to. So tell me what kind of songs you're having troubles with and we'll try to address the slide issues within those tunes. Well, this is Anthony Hannigan. Thanks for tuning in to Music Moose. We'll see you the next time around. Thanks again.